Hello, students. Good evening, everybody. Hello, hello. Hello. Uh, do you, listen, Good do you hello. listen to me? Uh, hello, do you listen to me? <coughs> Hi. Uh, Hi. Me escuchan bien? Yes. Yes. Amazing. Amazing. That's right. Okay. Welcome, everybody, and welcome to all of you for, you know, for English class. It's actually a great chance to, you know, be ready and also practice and learn English. So for me, it's a very nice opportunity to be here and start at night ready with motivation to learn English. So how was your day? Was great? Was good? Tiring? Excited? How was your day? Tell me. Yes. ¿Cómo estuvo su día? How was your day? Very good. Okay. Very good. Very oh, good. Interesting. Okay. Uh, positive? Es positive. Okay. And the motivation was excellent? Was good? Mm, yes. It was good. Excellent. Excellent. Wow. This is a good rank because when you say, you know, my motivation was excellent. So that's mean that you were 100% motivated. Yeah. The top, the top, right? That's good. Yeah. You're like, oh, teacher, 50-50. I didn't want to go to work. Especially when, um, well, nowadays it's, it's raining. Uh, the weather is, uh, how's the weather, by the way? ¿Cómo está el clima por ahí? It's, 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 hot, it's hot, it's cold. cold. It's cold. Okay. Or it's por, hot. Por acá está lloviendo, pero it's, no sé cómo oh, se dice it's, en inglés. It's raining. It's oh, raining. oh, it's raining. raining. Interesting. It's cold yeah, and raining. I, I, I heard that in San Salvador, it was raining, so that's what I, I understand. Okay, so that's good because sometimes, you know, the weather, um, especially in this time we're talking about summer, it's very hot most of the time, and the rain can help us. Okay, so that's why, you know, we had to be encouraged. So let's start today with the class, and before, that we start, I always ask about what we did in the previous class, and that's the one of the main goals. So the question is, what did we do yesterday in our English class? ¿Qué hicimos ayer? Uh, vimos the bowl and the bird to be. Hmm. The vowels, uh -huh. and what are the vowels? Sobre el verbo to be. Oh, the verb be. Okay. Okay, the verb be. And in qué tres? En, hay tres formas en las que el verbo to be al momento de ser conjugado eh, se divide en tres formas. ¿Y cuáles son? Um, is are. Okay, excellent. And um, y cuando voy a utilizar am? Cuando hable de mi persona. Ay. Uh, the, the first person. Okay, the first person. That, that's okay. That makes sense to me. And when am I going to use is? Cuando voy a utilizar is? En terceras personas. Okay, perfect. ¿Y cuándo voy a utilizar are? En plural. Tercera persona en plural. The third person is in plural. That's valuable to know. Thank you. No sabía eso. Thank you, guys. Okay, and also, I just remember about the vowels. Um, ¿Y cuáles eran las vocales? Me olvidaron en inglés. Can you help me? A. A, E, I. A. O, U. O. I. Okay, great. Okay, that's that's interesting. 
Ok, thank you so much, right? Um, solo quiero recordarles, estoy haciendo una pausa, de que tienen que tener la cámara encendida y su nombre tiene que estar ahí completo um, en la pantalla, ya que hay esa forma de monitorear el trabajo eh, que se hace acá. Entonces, eh, los participantes también que estén activamente. Tenemos, por ejemplo, a Carla Vanessa Sánchez Hidalgo, tiene su nombre completo, de los dos nombres y dos apellidos. O oh, así es, Rosa María Salazar de Fabián también está acá completo, right? So that's good. So I can see um, your names, complete names also. The cameras like Melvin, Anna, uh, Yolanda, Camila too, uh, Diana, and his, uh, Fatima, and other students who join us right now here in the class. Así que pues bien. Bueno, vamos a continuar eh, con nuestra clase. Ya llevamos dos días y pues ustedes ya tienen muchos un conocimiento previo del idioma. Otros eh, en el proceso pues van, han ido aprendiendo algunas cosas, pero ya tienen una base. You got a, a basics about English. So we had to keep on practicing because it's a priority to do that one. All right, so let's see what happened here. Y vamos con la primera. We go with this one. And we have this the uh, unit number two. What is this? That is the question talking about objects and possessions. Conference three, what is in your bag? So let's see what happened here with our presentation. And also we talk about numbers. And first, we, well, there are, you know, we know a lot of numbers, obviously. But this is just like a basic stuff and further we will be watching and practicing more uh, numbers. So we have numbers from zero to 10, like zero. So the pronunciation about this is zero. So you can pronounce it. Then we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, mind, hand. So you look at this one. So remember that, well, I'm just going to tell you something. Fíjense que, por ejemplo, cuando hablamos de, de números, eh, el cero tiene dos formas. La primera es zero. Digan conmigo, zero. 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 Y está la otra zero. que es y la otra que es O, digan conmigo, O. O. Oh. 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 Yes. Oh. Yes. So it's like, it's very common to use that one. For example, um, I have been working with uh, people from different places around the world. Por ejemplo, pues he trabajado con personas de, de diferentes países, tanto Europa, Asia, América, en inglés. Entonces, de repente, cuando hablamos de un número, eh, por lo general, si son números, decimos O, oh, like, Um, the phone number. Oh, it's uh two o one five five two four nine one. Entonces el cero pues se, se ocupa el o. Entonces es muy común utilizar el o a zero. And uh, so both can be used. Ambos pueden ser utilizados. Um, y se ocupa bastante el o. So you can say o o. Es decir eh, cero cero. So we have zero or o one two three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we got the numbers. Okay, who wants to help me to practice the numbers? Who I need a volunteer for helping me to practice. Can you not leer los números? Yo. Okay. Zero. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Thank you. That's great. Uh, someone else that would like to do it here? Alguien más? Yo. Okay. O, o, one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Perfect. Thank you. So we can see here, um, we have information here right away. 
vemos ahí dos eh, como tipo batch. Tenemos un batch con una información de la, de la persona, de una persona. Tenemos a Ana Silvia. So you can check this one. Ana Silvia. So, Ana yeah, so Ana Silvia, Silva. In this case, the name Ana Silva. In this case, is a Latin American name. Work phone is like 201-555-2491. Is the work phone. 201-555-2491. And then the home phone. 914-555-2714. Cell phone. We can talk about cell phones. It's like 845-555-1023. So this information about NSL. And also we have uh, names like James Land. The word phone is like 800-555-8893. And also the home phone, 604-555-2714. And we have a cell phone, 250-555-1023. And so I want you to practice. I want you to read them, the Anna Silva and also James Leon. I want you to, with the microphone off, I want you to practice the pronunciation about these numbers, especially because we're using the phone number. So I will give you one a moment to do it from home. So I can not give you the time to uh, open up the microphones because it will be a mess. Entonces, vamos a practicarlo. Eh, ahí donde está usted, quiero que los lea uno primero y otro, y luego yo elijo algunos estudiantes que nos lean ahí la información. Okay, you have two minutes to do it. Practice. Okay, ready? Yes. Yes. Oh, okay, so we're going to ask to, well, according to what I have here, oh, Melvin, tell me uh, to read about Anna Silva. Work from 201-555-2491. Come from 914-555-2714. A four five 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 one zero oh, two three. Thanks a lot, uh, Melvin. Now choose the next person that will help us to to read the next one about James Liam. Elijanos, yes. Elijanos, ahí alguien más? Uh, okay. Veamos. Uh, Vanessa. Okay, Vanessa. Yo. 
<laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. Work phone. A O O five 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 eight eight nine three. Home phone. Six O four five 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 two seven one four. Cell phone. Two five O five 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 one O two three. Okay, so thank you so much. So we can see that you know the numbers is actually pretty easy to practice them. So we need to like keep on studying other numbers that in the course we will be uh, practicing. Okay, so that's why. So, but it's important to remember that we can use zero or O as part of the practice. Don't say that it's not um, so difficult about a practice. And um, do you have any question or doubt? No, no, it's no. clear. Perfect. So we go on to the next part. We can see here. At, de pregunta, tío. Look at this one. Um, saying goodbye. So that's one of the things. You can actually appreciate uh, it's some common phrases that people use to to say goodbye, uh, especially when you are in a, in your job or perhaps in the in your neighborhood with your friends in the classroom, church or any events that you are attending. So it's important to know some phrases about saying goodbye. Y tenemos aquí algunas frases, especialmente a donde andemos, cuando nos despedimos de alguien, no sea en cualquier lugar. Y tenemos the number one. Look at the number one. It says, see you later, Matthew. Bye-bye, Lisa. So you can see a very common expression to say goodbye, like, see you later. See you later. Es como decir, eh, te veo... This quest. So you can check this one. Uh, see you later, Matthew. And also bye bye. Que es para decir adiós. So you can combine that. Um, so it's uh, that's one of the things. Bye bye. Tenemos la número dos. It's like goodbye. Have a nice day. So you say goodbye. Ya no solamente es bye bye, sino que ahora es goodbye. Hasta luego, right? And have a nice day. It's a very common expression to say to wish you a good day or a good time wherever you go. Entonces es una un saludo muy formal para decir have a nice day. No solo te digo adiós, sino que pues que tengas un buen día. Y es una frase muy bonita. Um, ustedes utilizan esa frase en español? When you say goodbye to someone? Sí. Sí. Yeah, it's it's very formal. So we we know that we just not just speak Spanish. We also speak uh, Spanish in a formal way, so in a polite manner too. Entonces, no solo hablamos español, sino que de, de manera general, sino que también podemos hablar un español formal cuando decimos, ok, eh, hasta pronto, que tengas un buen día. Es una expresión muy polite, muy educada. So, in English, it's very recommendable to practice that. And also, we can see that. I'll see you tomorrow. Es una expresión también muy común para decir, te veo mañana. See you tomorrow. And also, it's a very encouragement. You know, that's encouraging. Number three, uh, but have a good evening, especially when it's late and this person is leaving her job. So she's saying, like, but have a good evening. Es que tengas ahí buenas tardes, right? Ya para finalizar la jornada. Uh, bye. And so thanks. Kim, you too. Ahí vemos que dice thanks, sí, gracias, you know, you say thanks. You too, ese famoso YouTube es para decir tú también, porque tenemos que, pues, también desearle a las personas. Tenemos que desearles el bien, ¿no? Entonces decimos. So you say, uh, have a nice day. See you tomorrow. So nos veremos mañana. Y la número cuatro, good night, Mr. Mrs. Morgan. ¿Para qué, ¿Para qué persona usábamos el Mrs.? Señoras. Señoras. Ah, para señora. Muy bien. So, podemos utilizar el famoso ma'am o oh, ma'am para decir señora o ma'am o en este caso Mrs. más el apellido. Mrs. Morgan. So, good night, Mrs. Mrs. Morgan. Y pues le responde, goodbye, Miss Shen. ¿Para, ¿Para qué persona usábamos el Miss? Para que personas Señorita. Para señorita, right? So we, we say that. 
¿Ustedes utilizan eh, con las personas el Mr. o el Miss? ¿O Miss, no ocupan? Por lo general, a, los, a las maestras dice Miss. Ah, a las, a las teachers. <laughs> yeah. Ajá, uh -huh. Miss. Uh, especially when, when we are talking about English teachers, they Miss. Right? Los maestros, sí. Los maestros. Eh, ¿Ocupan ustedes en español para decir señor, por ejemplo? Señor López, en Spanish. Por lo general, a veces decimos don. Don Manuel. Ay, don Manuel. Bueno. Ah, don Chuy, el de la tienda. <risa> ok, ok. People, o también of... por su grado académico, que a veces el licenciado no sé qué. Oh, okay, yeah. And uh, this is a way, you know, we call people, especially we don't, we don't say the names, but it's muy formal eh, utilizar eh, Mr., Mrs., Mrs., es una expresión muy formal en Estados Unidos, y no solo ahí, sino que en los países de habla inglés, eh, se ocupa mucho el Mr. Y hay otra que es Sir, por ejemplo, es S-I-R, Sir. Es una, eh, también es una frase, un dado, pues, muy importante. Entonces, so we use that one. So, We can check. Mr. Mrs. Mist. We continue with the next part. And we introduce the next part, section two. In that case, what's the name of the session? Can you help me with that? Okay, so we have this vocabulary. Who wants to help me to read the vocabulary that come up in the part one? Can we carry that there? El vocabulario que está en esa parte. The question is, what's in your bag? ¿Quién me quiere um, ayudar? Me? Sí. Okay, thanks. Uh, what, what's in your bag? A camera, case, cell phone, uh, a cell phone, um, a dress book, a uh, higher higher boot, a wallet, some glass, uh, a CD player. Yes. So yeah. So there are many things that we have in the bag. And um, uh, well, first of all, we had to evaluate. Do you, when you go to work, do you do you have a bag? Do you get a bag with you? Cuando ustedes pues salen a su trabajo, eh, ¿llevan un bolso o tienen un bolso? Yes or not? Yes. 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 Okay. Yeah, I'm a little curious. And I'm a little curious to know in English. So if you can say that in English, that would be awesome to know. Si lo pueden decir en inglés, díganlo. What's the most common things you, you have in your bag? What's the most common articles or things you have in your bag? ¿Cuáles son las cosas más comunes que usan, tienen en sus bolsos? Pencil. Uh, 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 phone. Kid, phone. Uh, a boot. A high brush. A high brush. Uh, what? Wire. Okay. Well, so iPhone. <laughs> Your cell phone oh. and cosmetics so and also, best. and what a, a wallet is important. Uh, where you have your documents, your IDs. Uh, we say in Spanish like a DUI. So a DUI too, money. you know. Money. <laughs> money too. Yeah, money. Yeah, definitely. And uh, Lips. yeah, the, depending where, where the, first of all, is depending where you work. Depende de donde trabaja. Yeah. Yes. Depende a donde vayan y qué hacen. Depende de qué trabajan. So it's important to have a bag with some stuff, right? So you can see here some things like an address book, a hairbrush, keys, a camera, a cell phone, a wallet, sunglasses, a CD player. But CD player is very old. Nowadays, we don't use a CD player anymore. So the CD player is from the past. And what do we use now? Can we use a CD player? 
Telephone. Yeah, telephone. cell phone. Yeah, and a cell phone. And, cell phone. And by the way, this cell phone is a uh, cell phone. Yeah, it's it's ancient, right? Hasta ese celular es tan vivo. So there are some things that had improved and changed a lot, right? So you can see here some common articles that you mentioned, guys, that we most of the time, eh, también a veces andan lotion y todo, you know, cremes, eh, cremas y todo that for personal cookies. care. Cookies. Yeah. And cookies. Yeah, you go yeah. to work. You van sacando una bolsa de churritos ahí de, la, de su maletín. Y... Candy. The candies too, yeah. Los chiclines and their old stuff that people used. All right, so that's that makes sense to me. Well, keep on to the next activity right now. So just well, um, so we can see here some common articles. This is a book. This is a book. Yeah, so we have a topic here that when we're talking about articles, digan conmigo, articles. 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 We're talking about articles, some things. Uh, Yeah, so let's see what happened here. Tenemos los articles. Complete these sentences with A or end. So, para esto vamos a hablar un poquito acerca de la combinación entre A y end. Y tenemos the articles N plus vowel sounds. In A plus consonant sounds. Significa que cuando usamos el A y el N, vamos a decir que A y N significan un o una. Entonces, vamos a decir que a and and equal in Spanish es singular. como yeah, es a singular form. Es, también se le llama indefinite article. Indefinite article. Se le llama al artículo indefinido. ¿Por qué es un indefinite article? Por ejemplo, si yo estoy hablando de una escuela. Yo digo en inglés una escuela. Yo digo en inglés a school. Pero, ¿por qué es un artículo indefinido? Why is an indefinite article? Porque yo digo una escuela, pero yo no sé qué escuela es. Hay tantas escuelas, muchas escuelas. Entonces, es indefinido porque no nos dice, nos dice que es solamente una, pero no nos dice cuál es. Entonces, es un artículo indefinido. Yo digo, wow, look at that car. Well, yes, this is a car. A car, un carro. Entonces, es un artículo indefinido porque hay tantos carros que, pues, no sabemos qué carro es. es, es solamente es un carro. Entonces, that's what we call indefinite article. Y entonces tenemos N eh, plus vowel sound. Significa que vamos a utilizar, bueno, A y N significan lo mismo. ¿Qué significa A y N? Un o una. Un o una. Un o una. Así es. Así es. Ese es el significado. Es un carro, una camisa, una mochila, a backpack, a card, un cuaderno, a notebook, una sombrilla, an umbrella, un zapato, a shoe, una ventana, a window, un sorbete, un helado, an ice cream. So you can see that. Entonces vamos a utilizar en cuando la siguiente palabra comience con una vocal. ¿Y cómo se dice vocal en inglés? Vowel. It's a vowel. Yes, it's a vowel. Can you tell me a vowel? Uh, can you tell me a word that starts with a vowel? Apple. Okay, just one second. Yes, what else? Another word that starts with a with a vowel. Otra palabra que comience con una vocal. Eyes. Mm -hmm. Que comience. Orange. Oh. Orange. Yes. Start with a with a vowel. Oh. What else? Eggs. Yeah. It, it, mm, it, like, yes, it's a verb. So, e t e a t. So, it's a verb. Tiene que ser un sustantivo, una palabra. It's a noun. 
Ireland. I'm sorry? Ira? Okay, that's great. So we have some words that start with the vowel. En este caso, si yo quiero decir una naranja, voy a utilizar el artículo indefinido an, an orange, an, an egg, orange. an igloo, an iron, an apple. So we can use that. Y vamos a utilizar e, a cuando la siguiente palabra comience con una consonant, consonant. with a consonant. Okay. In, okay, tell me a word that starts with a consonant. Díganme una palabra que comience con una consonante. Car. Wallet. Towel. The cell. Telephone. Pencil. House. Case. Okay. So we can see here this row. And uh, what I want you to do is like try to see the word and select if we have a or n so complete it please and then we will socialize them together okay así que completemos from 1 to 6 this is a um this is a book Okay, let's see the first one so you can help me with that. Um, what about the first one? What's, what's the number one? It's pretty simple. It's, it's a book. Okay, it's a book, right? Number two. This is an eraser. It's an eraser. Yes, it's an eraser. So we can see here uh, an eraser. Number three. This is an English book. An English book. Uh, English. I'm sorry? Number four. This is a dictionary. All right. Yeah, it's a dictionary. It's an, uh, number five. This is a notebook. A notebook. A notebook. Yes, and the last one. This is an encyclopedia. The pronunciation about this word is encyclopedia. Encyclopedia. I. It's an encyclopedia, right? Yes, so we can see here some uh, basic words in English. You can check this part. Okay, so what we had to do is we will work in pairs and uh, we'll go in part V. It says the pair work, find and spell these things in your classroom. Eh, vamos a, quiero que tomen en nota de estas palabras, the board, book bag, cassette player, chair, clock, desk, dictionary, door, map, pen, pencil, table, wall, 
waste basket window. Entonces va a decir la palabra, va a decir si comienza con una a or an. Por ejemplo, this is a board. A board. And um, how do you spell board? Y lo va a deletrear con su compañero. Por ejemplo, how do you spell dictionary? Eh, vamos a ver. La pregunta es. Veamos el chat. Y la pregunta es, how do you spell dictionary? How do you spell pen? How do you spell book bag? How do you spell window? Entonces, con su compañero van a ver la palabra y van a decidir si se usa con a or and y van a deletrear las palabras. Uh, that's what we had to do. So I will give you a couple of minutes to practice and then we will go back to work with the other activities. It's okay? Is that clear? Yes. Yes, perfect. So let's work at the breakout rooms. Entonces, quiero que estén pendientes. Ya, ya tienen la información, sí? Yes. Yes. Okay, perfect. Okay, let's work in the breakout rooms. Vamos a entrar a los breakout rooms. Y um, ahí con sus compañeros, con sus compañeros, vamos a practicar las palabras y vamos a usarlas con A or N. Eh, se recibe una invitación, la aceptan. Let's go. Se puede mostrar la diapositiva nuevamente, por favor.
no le tomo foto. Bien. Sí. Ah, vale. Entonces, si quiere, repita la primera usted. Yo repito la segunda o la tercera. Y, y con Ana Leticia hace cualquier grupo. Ana Leticia, ¿y usted las copió? No, no las copié, pero me imagino que es la presentación, acá ¿verdad? Acá, acá Ahí están. están compartiendo. Ahí lo está compartiendo ahorita. Ah, si va. Quiere, este, Miguel, si quiere usted los primeros cinco y yo... Las, tre las tres cosas, ahí está a veces lo que vamos a, vamos a hacer con, la, con, la, con las 15 palabras. Las primeras tres. No, si quiere agarrar la línea de arriba, las cinco, así. La, la, hace las cinco. Ok. Agual, agual, agual. Vaya, las hacemos. O, o comienzo yo. Comienzo usted, si gusta. Vaya. Lo único que, 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 bueno, sea bien o mal. Eh, this is a board. How do you spell bor? Eh, B O E R D. Eh, this is a, ch a chill. Chill. How do you spell chill? Es a C G G A I R. Eh, this is a dictionary. How do you spell, spell dictionary? D, D I C T uh, I O N R A, -A R -E U. Y, y ¿verdad? Eh, this is a pen. Do you spell pen? Eh, P. A. No, P. P. I. E, N. This is, this is a, a world, world. Do you spell gol w a l l serían las otras cinco de, de, la, de la segunda las hago yo si quieren Miguel sí está bien sería this is a book bag How do you spell book, book bag? B O O K B A G. La otra sería This is a clock. How do you spell clock? C L O C K. This is a door. How do you spell door? D O O R. Oh, no sería. This is a pencil. How do you spell pencil? P E N C I L. This is a waste basket. How do you spell waste basket? Sería W. ¿Cómo era esa? W. W 
Don't you? Okay, boy. This is a cassette player. How do you spell cassette player? Is C A S S I T T A P L A U U I R. Uh, this is a desk. Um, how, do you, how do you spell desk? S D E D I S K. Uh, this is a map. Uh, how do you spell map? S M A P. Um, this is a cardboard. How do you spell S A B L E? E is a window. Uh, how do you spell window? Um, w A I N D O W. Terminamos exacto. Ay, sí, lo terminamos. Okay, and uh, we had some time to practice. And well, we have uh, an activity before we conclude this class. And what I want you to do is to take a short time and also add a or end according to the words. So you will see the words and you will try to identify if, uh, if a or end. This is the instructions about this activity. So fill in. Uh, or N into the gaps. So I'll give you um, a couple of minutes to complete this part. And meanwhile, I will um, check the attendant list. So you say present and we'll check the attendant list. Well, this you have this presentation in the WhatsApp group because I always upload it. So you can check it and work with that one. Así que eh, quiero que trabajen en esta parte mientras paso la asistencia. Así que voy a quitar la pantalla principal para poder usar la asistencia. Thank you. 
Ana Claudia Mejía. Present. Thanks. Ana Leticia García. Present. Present. Eh, Camila Alessandra Consuegra. Present. Damaris Milagro Hernández. Present. Thank you. David Rafael Ramos Valdez. Present. Diana eh, Marcela Cruz. Present. Uh, Fátima Esmeralda Rivera. Fátima Esmeralda. Eh, Fátima Guadalupe Hernández. Present. Fátima Saray Hernández. Present. Eh, Genesis Abigail Hernández. Present. Carla Vanessa Sánchez. Present. Catherine Guadalupe Corleto. Catherine Guadalupe. Eh, Lady Evelyn Guerrero. Present. Eh, Melissa Daniela Ángel. Melissa. Eh, Melvin Balmore Cruz. Present. Miguel Alejandro Rodríguez. Present. Miriam Maricela Escobar. Nelson Efraín Rivas. Present. Eh, Paola Estefany Guzmán. Rosa María Salazar. Present. Silvia Noemí Campos. Present. Eh, Teresa Yamile. Present. Eh, Yanira del Carmen Rosales. Present. Yolanda Yamilet Andrade. Present. Thank you. Great job. Okay, uh, before that we conclude, we will take a short time to socialize the answers that we have uh, selected between A and N. So you can help me to work with that one. So we go with the first one. Apple, so what's the best answer for Apple? Um, okay, an apple. Mm -hmm. Next one. Um, um, Sorry, because I could see that it should be like this one. Much better now. Okay, uh, ugly. Um, um, T-shirt. Um, T-shirt. Uh, T-shirt. Hamster. A. A. English um, book. A. Um, A. Mm. An English book, right? Yes. Um, a. Sweater. A. A. a sweater. Uh, and that would be uh, a sweater. Um, a sweater. Um, a a uh, iPod. Hamburger. A. A. Uh, a. Yes, we say a hamburger. Interview. Um, a. A. A, 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 an, an interview. An interview. Una entrevista. Um, okay, for a dog. A, a, a dog, right? Folder. A, 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 a folder. A pen. Pen. A pen. Octopus. Um, octopus. A, um, um, uniform. A uniform. A uniform. Beautiful. A beautiful. A beautiful. Tres, tres, ay, tres, y va. 
We're gonna switch it here. Uh, a beautiful uh, dressed. Yeah. Uh, dress. A dressed walkman. Uh, a walkman. A walkman. Banana. Banana. Okay. Um, angry. Me. Angry. No, we're gonna switch it. Much better. So, uh, angry. 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 And, and, uh, and, man. And, and, a, a man, and, right? A man. And boxed. A box. Um, a box. A box. And um, a box. Ice, ice cream. Ice cream. Uh, ice cream. An ice cream. Yes, we're talking about an ice cream. So you can see here that most of you have gotten the best answers for each one. So you can see that it's the, the best way to, to know about the ANN or as we call them in English, indefinite articles. So don't forget about the indefinite articles because they're very common and based. Well, we go on to the next part and uh, we had a conversation, but before, well, so we had a conversation here. They are um, interesting. So what do you see in the picture? So tell me, what do you see in the picture? A celebration. Mm -hmm. okay. Awesome. It's a, uh, a birthday. It's a birthday. It's a birthday. What articles can you find there? What articles can you see there? A cake. A cake. A, a, a birthday. ¿Qué artículos podemos encontrar? Oh. How do you say global in English? Table? Balloons. Balloons. A cake. Balloons. A balloon. A cake. A cake. Chair, table, table. Okay. table. Okay. Table. Chair. Table. Chair. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so. Pastel, ¿cómo se dice pastel? Cake. Okay. Cake. Uh -huh. uh, and how do people look like? Okay. How do people look like? A uh, well man. Uh, one man, two woman, two woman. Two woman. Drink. ¿Y cómo se ven ellos? ¿Cómo, cómo se ven? Happy. happy. Oh, happy. they are happy, right? Very happy. Yeah, very happy because you're celebrating and they're having a good time. Okay, so look at this conversation just to conclude the class and check about the vocabulary. So it says, Wendy and Helen and Rex. Wow, what's this? Uh, it's a camera. Oh, cool. Thank you, Helen. It's great. You're welcome. Now open this box. Um, okay. Um, what are this? They are earrings. Oh, they, they are interesting. Thank you, Rex. They are very nice. See, they are open, open, uh, opening the, the presents of the gift. So let's practice again. It says, whoa, what's whoa. this? So you can check that. Uh, what's this? Uh, it's a camera. It's oh, cool. Big. So you can um, check this vocabulary and also practice. Les voy a compartir por acá. One second. Okay, don't forget to have the microphone off for a moment. See, okay, vamos a ver, ¿qué dice la conversation? Wow, what's this? It's a camera. Oh, cool. Thank you, Helen. It's great. You are welcome. Now open this box. Okay, and uh, what are this? They are earrings. Oh, they are. Interesting. Thank you, Rex. They are very nice. Wow, what's this? It's a camera. Oh, cool. Thank you, Helen. It's great. You are welcome. Now open this box. Okay, and uh, what are this? They are earrings. Oh, they are interesting. Thank you, Rex. They are very nice. Okay, so you can actually check that one. Por ahí les compartí el, 
el audio para que ustedes lo puedan escuchar y pues puedan hacer ahí the practice, ok? Entonces, it's just about to finish. Ok, guys, we're about to finish. We hope to see you tomorrow. We will continue practicing with the vocabulary and also with the context. You know, the time goes so fast. Súper rápido se fue pues, la hora. Así que pues, descansemos y pues mañana sea un día exitoso para nosotros. So we hope to have a successful day tomorrow. Ok? So, yes. good, good night. Good night, teacher. You too. See you, See you tomorrow, guys. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye. -bye. Bye, -bye. Thank you. Bye.